Hi, welcome along to a very special Bias Premier League show from here in Brentford. We're at this beautiful brand new stadium. Show brought to you today by Boohoo Man. Don't forget, click the link in the description. You can get up to 40% off. Joined today, of course, by White Yardy in the yeah, building yeah. and our very special guest, yeah. Marcus uh -huh. Gale, ex Brentford, yeah. ex Wimbledon. Yeah. Ex Name the other teams you played for. Reggae boy. Reggae boy. No, no, I was going to get to reggae boys. So hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to reggae boys because, ah, right, the, the, the other teams you played for. Uh, Watford for about three and a half years, and a very short spell in in Scotland with Glasgow Rangers. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, and of course, as Yardy said, a member of the reggae boys. '98. I was, you know what? I went to the game when you played against Argentina. It didn't go too well. I remember the, the yeah, result remember, in the end, yeah. right? But it was. That was a great moment as well, wasn't it? Oh, it was um, full of colour and, and vibes and all right, the result didn't go our way, but we had yeah. a great time. We it win was. one game. Yeah, of course yeah. we did. Yeah. yeah, we win one. So Japan won it. That's the most yeah. important one because that was the one I started. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd get that one in. <laughs> and now you're here at Brentford and big things carrying on here. I mean, it's, it's, this is their brand new stadium. Yeah. Um, of course, the big game this weekend against Arsenal, Friday night kickoff. The big game, because this is where the Premier League season kicks off right here. The whole world is going to be focused upon here. And you've got a massive ambassadorial role here, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a big role here. One I'm honoured to have and privileged to have. Um, you know, I started my career here as a 14 year old, had my footballing journey, came back for a second spell. And now the third spell is an ambassadorial role. Um, and that's a crucial role. No pun intended. <laughs> He's got jokes as well. You already signed him up, man. <laughs> no pun intended. Yes. But, um, I'm old enough to remember all of that. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a beautiful stadium. 17,250 fans will be here. Friday night, opening night of the Premier League. And yeah. um, great opposition in Arsenal coming down. London derby. Mm. Um, it's it's going to be a great game. And, and as I said, brand new stadium. You didn't get to play in front of fans last mm -hmm. season um, in this stadium, but how, how, how much are you looking forward to it, you know, just having fans back inside here? Yeah, well, we had just over 10,000 on Saturday versus Valencia. Wow. So the, the ambience in there was loud. It was, it was wicked in there on Saturday. So to have the full house to come, um, the timings have been right as well, because we missed out on promotion the year before. Um, and if we'd played in the Premier League without fans in this new stadium, I don't think it would have boded well for us. But mm. to now be promoted, now the floodgates are open so fans can come in, it makes it a You know, feel like maybe, maybe no fans helped on a promotion? Maybe, it did. Because so now having the fans, the pressure might be there. Nah, we can handle the pressure. I that's just hope thing. it works for us. That's <laughs> Friday's going to be the one, we'll find out. But I'm confident in our team, our squad, that we'll give a good account of ourselves and, and be a, you know, a welcome addition, the 50th team to play in the Premier League. Yeah, that's right. And I know, Yardi, that yeah. you, you have a little bit of a relationship. I see you sometimes going back and forth with um, Ivan Tony. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember you did that thing for St. Vincent. St. Vincent. Yeah, and yeah. he's from there, isn't he? He's mm. from St. Vincent. Well, yeah. funny enough, my message him as soon as I reach, and I'm going to say, yo, my dear, you're yard, you know. So, <laughs> you know, we there, and I said, go easy. Friday said, um, can't make no promises, you don't know. I said, no, do your thing, but, you know, just. Don't start till next week. Like, as much as more you do well, as much as I want you to do well, Ivan, just don't start till next week. Yeah, just this week have it off. Just make sure you play good, but not too good. That's all I'm asking. But I don't how, how good is he? Because we, we, listen, he's going to be no shock to Arsenal fans, right? Because we know all about him. We saw his record last year mm. in the Championship. He broke all Very records. Very good. Yeah. Mm. How good is he? He's a complete centre forward. He can score the goals naturally and obviously. But other than that, he's a great team player. Yeah, how, how, much, how, much, how much for him? We can buy him today. <laughs> <laughs> you might get his big toe today, but the rest... Can't, can't. <laughs> no, man, rub him, yeah, rub him. Jump up and, 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 and just we'll bring... You say you're on a transfer team. Yeah, now. man, let's bring, uh, let's bring uh, Emirates, you know what I mean? You, you want to do a swap? We can do a swap, you know? Uh, uh, no, nah, I wouldn't swap him. Nah. Yeah, Complete try, striker, man. though. Complete striker, team player. If we're defending last minute of the match, he'd be our best defender. He'll clear the ball, whether it's his head or his foot. He's our, he's, he's our best player, really. He's brilliant in the yeah. playoff finals. Yeah. He was. You could see. You he, can see that. He, he's he the focal point, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He uses a lot of confidence. And the way, in particular, he takes his penalties is. Mm. I'm, I'm boggled by how he takes it with so much calmness. But 
no keepers got anywhere near him taking mm. a penalty. Do you think you guys will struggle to keep hold of him one more season? I think if he scores the goals this season, the ambition of the club will grow along with him as well. Yeah. But it, we, we don't know at this moment, but I, I think he'll be here for sure. And you, you know, you're pretty decent at, even if a player does go, replacing him because he replaced Ollie Watkins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, I mean, we know all about him last season. He terrorised us. Oh, God. Um, when he was playing at Villa. <laughs> Liverpool knew about him, though. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just, he was, just, he, just he had an Liverpool amazing season. That. I mean, ended up, I mean, that must be, um, you know, even when, you know, Ivan Tony's looking at it. Ollie Watkins was playing, he was in the England squad, mm -hmm. you know, at the Euros. So, you know, he, he can see that as well, that if he has a good season. Yeah, now he needs to, to prove how good he is. We all know how good he is. He's at the, the pinnacle now. This is the best league in the world. So if he can, if, even if he gets half of what he got last year, mm. that'll be a success, I, I feel. Mm. All right, well, you've been looking at any of the Arsenal stuff, any of the pre-season stuff that we've been doing here? Worried at all? I haven't looked at anything. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he knows, he knows. I haven't yeah, I know he's been looking at it. He's been. He, he, he's been going mental oh, about it listen, it wasn't man. great against Tottenham was it no man it wasn't I, I know I make, make, like this is no confidence for me people feel like we just like to talk about negative things we don't like to talk about negative things we want to talk about positive things but if we're not seeing positive things what do you want us to talk about what do we, we have to say the truth and sometimes people don't like the truth because I say the truth hurts so when we're saying about our team that we support and we love is doing not great. Mm. They feel like we're being negative. It is pre-season though. It is pre-season, but pre listen, we lost, I mean, listen, remember, we lose to Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. And 2 Chelsea, 1. Yeah, and we shouldn't have Hold lost. on, but Chelsea didn't play a full starting level. We had our starting 11 against them. Let's be real. Yeah, apart from Gabriel. That's probably the mm. only person that came in. Tottenham beat us without Harry Kane. This One is nil. not confidence. It doesn't. I, I could, when you when you league fit, when you when you play in a Premier League and a team beat you one, do they get three points? Oh, let me let me hold on. They get three points. Wait, a minute, wait a <laughs> no, it let doesn't ask, matter. Let me ask Marcus this right, because Marcus, you would have you would have played in loads of pre-seasons in your career as a footballer. Mm. Does pre-season matter as much as I mean? We're we're getting angry because we've lost mm. to Chelsea and Tottenham in pre-season. But does it matter much? Does it matter? Much? Do you did you literally when you were doing pre-seasons think to yourself, you know what? It's not about the result, it's just about getting myself up to gear. It's a bit of both. Pre-season, for a player, you're supposed to get yourself fit and stay healthy through that, that, that pre-season programme. But at the same time, defenders don't train to let the opposition score in training. You, you train to stop people, so that's your job description on the field. If you're a centre forward, you're there to score the goals, not to play about and, and go through pre-season with a zero. You're supposed to have a good amount of goals, that gives you the right indicator. You want to go into that, mm. that first Confidence. game of the season, confident. You lose to, That's what you lose, you will lose mm. to we lose to two London teams, yeah? Who we in our minds as fans look <laughs> and these are the teams that we Tottenham shouldn't even be in conversation with us. But we should be competing but what against this team. And now we're up against Brentford, another London week. team. I told you this last week. I've we seen had the Arsenal. curse of London. I've seen <laughs> Arsenal beat Bayern Munich easily yeah. in pre-season. Yeah. I've seen us beat PSG yeah. easily in pre-season. Well, yeah. And then in our first yeah. game, up against, I think it was, I can't remember, we lost. So Everton or somebody like that, yeah. It's, I don't know, I don't know whether to put too much on this pre-season. How's teams. your pre-season been? Our pre-season been good. It's a, a, a clean bill of health. Bloody the hell. main man scoring goals, <laughs> <coughs> as I said. Um, yeah, we just oh, had we a game against pitch. Valencia. You get Pani Pitch. Mm. You can't get on the pitch. So more, we? which side we are, which side more we start, whatever side we are start, and we can levitate so the ball run one way. <laughs> Your section is going to be over there, in between them two black stripes. That's but the is there any way for me can make the pitch lopsided so the ball runs down into no. the goal? That, that ain't working. <laughs> I try to help us. I'm going to jump, I'm going to try. Before I left, I'm going to try. <laughs> well, um, you, you, you've had a good pre-season. Yeah, a very good pre-season. We just had Valencia here on Saturday. Beat them 2-1. Mm. Played some good football. And Man it gave, as Yardi was saying, it gave the fans the confidence going into this week's game against mm. Arsenal. So, yeah, we're in Man good shape. Man United as well. Played yeah. Man United at Old Trafford, scored two mm. great goals there as well. So, mm. all the signs are there, but that could count for nothing if we don't start right on Friday. See, count for nothing. Imagine, it man, could hear, hear, count hear, for nothing. and hear him say, scored goals, scored goals, scored goals, <laughs> scored goals, <laughs> keywords, scored goals. Well, we, We've think... been conceding goals, and now we're going against a team that's been now, scoring goals. We scored four against Watford. Look how long that be. You know how long ago, ago that. Look Two how weeks. long ago that was. Why ain't you mentioned that then? We did four, score. 
We scored four again. And, and, and three of the players we, we scored the four not, we not go play. And in the previous game we scored Watch. four in that, didn't we? And th those players who are scoring are not starting. Stop being negative, man. It's the man, the man who, who <laughs> the man who's gonna start on, on Friday hasn't scored one goal all preseason. What can Abamian. I yes. Yeah, yes, he, he's not had a you know he's not had a great preseason. Would that you know you, you to be you fair, would, I, I would that worry you? I reckon he will. I reckon he will. I think Friday. his quality will always worry you as a as a, a team and as a set of set of supporters as well because you know it's it's within him. He can score great goals. Mm. But you want the indications that he's still on form. You can't live off the past. You have to live on the now and hopefully the future. Mm. So you want your striker scoring, but mm. Apart from I'm, I'm sure we'll take it easy on him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my man. Deal with him. But you know what I believe, though? Oh. I, believe, I believe he might do good Friday. I believe Abameyang, you're going to do good Friday. You know why? This pitch is small. So you, you have, you know, you're not going to be too far away from the game. Like some games I watch him in, and it seems like he's just distance from the game. Yeah. Everything's mm. close here, so it might suit him. It actually might suit mm. him. This, this pitch might suit Aubameyang. Yeah. Apart, apart from Ivan Tony's the obvious one that everybody keeps talking about and mentioning, who's the other? Give me, give me two other players that you say. You want me to really reveal these inside details to you guys? Oh, don't worry, yeah. Arteta don't watch this. We can Google it, but like how you're in. You really real. want me? <laughs> Listen, we got good players all over the pitch. I know you have got good players all over the we pitch. we got but, good players. Right, give me one other player that you think, yeah. Not, not, I'm not even talking about the Arsenal game, that you think this season in the Premier League, by the end of the Premier League, we're going to be talking about this player from Brentford. Good question. I'm going to give you my answer. I'm going to say Josh De Silva, who we got from... So Chelsea, Arsenal. Man. Oh, to so Arsenal, yes. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, he was one of our he, yeah. midfielder. Yeah. Good player. Very, he, he's a yeah, brilliant he, player. Yeah, he, he, did, he did do very well in the, um, again for you lot. And he, he's matured season. so well over the last two, three mm. years in this team here. Um, but we're not going to have him at the start, unfortunately. But I think by the end of it, that, mm. that should be the name. All right, so Josh De Silva, former Arsenal player. Sounds like a typical story where I was here. <laughs> God no, I'm, I'm so glad you had me on here, so I don't mind you to be yeah, 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 yeah. happy. I am trying to be happy. You I'm do realise he's trying to wind us up. I know, but he's but choice it, of but player. But fuck, he's talking. Like, Josh like... De Silva is a very, very good player. I do rate <sighs> him. I do rate him. Um, Any transfers? At... Yeah, we've had a few coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want me to tell you more about? No, 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 no. You know, we've, we've, we've made some transfers. Yeah. We've got some good players that have signed. Um, we may be having one more, maybe two. Ooh. I don't know. But, I, I but we're settled. We're settled. I yeah. love with your club the way you go about doing transfers. Now, we hear a lot about how you've got this analytical approach. Mm. Where you know you look at that you really and you, you're one of the leaders in the field at this. Mm. Where you really look and delve deep down into the stats mm. of players. Yeah, that's well, the directors of football done a brilliant job over the last four or five years. The players that have, have left have been replaced with better. Um, and when you look at the strikers in particular, you know, the success didn't start with Oli Watkins. We had Neil Morpé before that, um, that came in, scored the right amount of goals, mm. moved on to Brighton. Oli moved from left wing to centre forward, scored his goals, he moved Villa. on to Aston Villa. Ivan and then we replaced Oli with, with Ivan. And then he's now gone, gone on, on to Arsenal. So he's, he's just resting <laughs> up very well mm. all week. He didn't even play on Saturday. So I think he's focusing what? so much on um, Arsenal because he knows you guys are going to be around. <laughs> and he wants to show you the full artillery of what yeah. well, he's capable I'm of. Sure, so, I'm sure. Yeah, we're, we're, we've got some good additions to the squad. Mm, I'm excited for the game. Um, let's get predictions. Hold on. <laughs> Ivan. I just there I talk to Marcus and I tell me say you rest up well rested for Arsenal. Please leave us alone. Please. <laughs> anyway, predictions. predictions. You go first. <laughs> I'm going 2-1 to Arsenal. I think it's gonna be a very, very, very difficult game. Um, you know, the worst possible one of the worst possible games you could have got is to play a team that's just been promoted, got a brand new stadium and their fans haven't been in here for a year. The place is going to be rocking on Friday, but I expect Arsenal's experience to overcome it. I do also look on it and say that last season, Arsenal were very, very good away from home. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for 2-1 to Arsenal, but just. You know, Izzy, our defence is what worries me. You know what I mean? The lack of creativity up front at the moment as well. I mean, the pitch is smaller, so you know it should it should help 
I feel with our, our, our players because they're going to be very close now, you know. But Brentford is used to this. I feel like it's going to be a draw. Draw? Sure. I think 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two? Yeah. Hmm. With all the information I've got from you guys, I'll, I'm going to be respectful. I'm going to say it's a positive result for us at Brentford. What's the positive, positive result. What's positive? I mean, me ain't losing. So you take a draw? We would take a draw, but we're there to win the match. OK, but what you've got sitting on the fence. As I said, Ivan is resting up. And this boy don't mess about. Man, he rests too much and can't wake up. Don't wake up, Ivan. He's resting up. Fully rested, can't wake hey, have up. We, have we got a Boohoo Man of the Week? Yes, Boohoo Man of the Week goes to one and only Martinelli winning the Olympic gold medal with Brazil, so big up, you know. I thought you were going to give it to the Tottenham fans. Who? Oh. <laughs> nah, man. No, the ones that, no, no, listen, now this sounds odd, right? And this, you, you immediately say absolutely no chance, but they did actually, in that friendly, when oh, they played. Oh, the Saka sign? They put that sign up yeah, for yeah, Saka. Yeah, no, big up. And they, did, up, they yeah. did clap Saka as well, yeah, which I couldn't no. believe. Yeah. So I'd no, say, man. but what I found very crafty about their banner, Mm. is that they put North London stands in support of Sacco now. Yeah, yeah. So I want to big up all the North London, London fans. Yeah? fans but yeah. no, no, it was a nice little gesture yeah. for them, but you're giving it to Martinelli. Martinelli gets it. Gold 100%. medal at the Olympics. Yeah, man, come on, man. Hopefully that breeds some confidence when he comes back. Obviously, he's on holiday now. Fe. No, I think I heard he's back in training. Amen, hallelujah. Because now <laughs> you know they go on holiday, <laughs> innit, after this, yeah. but hopefully he's back. So. I heard he's come straight back, yeah. Amen, good boy. Good boy, rest up, get the jet lag out of you and then just come back for next week and you'll get a start. If I was the manager, you'd be starting anyway. Right. Idiot of the week. Idiot of the week <laughs> goes to the one and only Mr. As, 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 as expression say, class A, Harry Kane. Definitely, you getting it. Why are you there, pan? Like, one minute, you're, you're gone, you're trying to force this move and, and not turn up to training and then now you come out when you see the Grealish deal go through, now you're trying to backtrack because you're scared you're not going to get signed by Man City and then you're... That's what happened, you know. <laughs> he got scared, he saw Grealish got signed and he's like, oh, they're not going to buy me, I better go make up with Tottenham now and then put out this, this tweet and message about, oh, I would never do that. I'm a Stop lie. <laughs> Stop lie. You're, gonna go, you're going to go Man City, we know you're going. Your club just needs to get a replacement for you. They're not going to sell you until they replace you. So just go training and do what you need to do. Lip. Yeah, and keep it. Before this, me big you up. But now you turn around and make a fool of yourself. Be a man and stay hiding from them. Tell them say, nah, come at training. <laughs> Stop with this little idiot run go training now because you feel scared. Oh, I'm not going to get moved. Relax you know yourself. What? Just because we got such a great striker with us, right? Just quickly, I'm going to ask you about a couple, right? Lukaku going Chelsea, you think that's going to be... Oof. Oof. Chelsea's, them, should I get Chelsea's of the week? a funny one to go to though, isn't it? No matter what striker goes in there, they, they, they never seem to quite hit the ground running. The ones I can talk about, Drogba, yeah, definite. Costa, yeah. Everybody else has kind of come in there with a big tag. And Remember then, them by Torres? And flop. Mm. So I think yeah, Lukaku think going that. at that age now is far more mature than when he first went there. But it's mad, there. they should mm. have got idiots of the week because they sold this guy, <laughs> loan him out, <laughs> sell him, and now I want to spend over a hundred odd million feet. Hold up, that's yeah. your job, you should have just said that, that was the idiot of the week. You went and picked on Harry no, Kane. No, Harry Kane, I get the same way. Harry Kane, Come I on, get the same way. And, uh, and if you were Harry Kane, right? Oof. If you were Harry Kane, right, and you know, then you wouldn't there, sir. You, 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 got, you got a team that you play for, and despite the fact that we're Arsenal fans, we, we hate Tottenham, obviously, but you got, you got, uh, you got, um, fans that absolutely adore you mm. but you know that Man City are in for you would you go? I think the, the stage he is he's now 28 no titles no, no titles None. <laughs> the pressure is now he needs to start winning titles the best team to go to at the moment is probably Man City because they're going to guarantee they're going to win something but mm. the connection with the fans that's the, that's the worry for me because he's, he's their man but mm. he was your man at one stage, or he your was, little boy, was, but now he's he a man was. at Tottenham. Just like Josh De Silva, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, Marcus, I want to thank you very much, man. Thank you My for pleasure. having us down here. It's been an absolute pleasure. We're looking forward to the game on Friday night. You know what I mean? I hope, not this Friday, 
But after that, I hope that Brentford have a great season and uh, keep up the great work. Hey, yeah, man, you're looking in great shape as well, man. You know, you can still play, innit? Look yeah, man, at if, if, Ivan Tony, if Ivan Tony don't wake up, man, you might be able to, uh, to come in there. You might have to get the I'll boots I've got to here, though, to fill his, fill his boots. <laughs> no, but listen, thank you very much, right? It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having um, me. And Yadi, pleasure as always, Yeah, mate. my respect, man. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe here to AFTV and, of course, looking forward to the game. Arsenal visiting Brentford, it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant game. Can't wait. Come on, Arsenal. We are cop. <laughs>